Hi everyone, um, I haven't done a video for you for quite a while, um, things got a little bit crazy with um, work and being back to school and all of that kind of thing, so videos were kind of put on hold for a little while, but that doesn't mean that I haven't been being creative. Um, my birthday was August 17th and my lovely friend who is so made with love on Instagram bought me a traveller's notebook or a faux dory as it's the cover I suppose um, and I had asked for one and she kind of said to me um, pick seven designs that you like and then she'll just surprise me with one of them and this was the one that I really really liked so I'm really glad she picked it um this is from Lyra and Co and I'll leave a link to um her Etsy shop and it's fabric it's a fabric fodori um this I've added on myself but um this is just gorgeous it's black and white stripe with a mint and a sort of corally coloured flower with um, sort of light pink, mint and gold sort of leaves and accents which is just stunning and I love it. Um, this is an extra wide Fodori so a normal sized, a normal sized traveller's notebook is like that and this is extra wide so it has an extra inch I would say. And yeah, I absolutely love it. So I customised it a little bit by adding this on the side. And I don't know whether you can see that. But basically that was a bracelet that I found in my jewellery box that I haven't worn for ages and ages and ages. But when I looked at it, the colours were just perfect. It's got little minty leaves on it and um, little pink sort of plastic beading and all that kind of thing and it's just perfect so I just sort of clipped it through the loop and that's my little charm so to speak. Now for inserts I made my own so I'll pop this down so it stays still but I have two inserts in here at the moment. I have this one and this one. There are obviously two elastics in and then this is like a little pocket that I've clipped to the back, but I'll show you that in a minute. So, yes, I made my own inserts. Um, if you would like a video or a tutorial of how I did that, then please let me know in the comments and I will get a video done for you. But this is basically, I basically created this out of um, copier paper, just normal printer paper and some scrapbook paper. So this is a fancy pants million june paper which i really like for the for the notebook cover because it's um it's really quite thick and it's a little bit textured as well and then i've embellished the front with bits and pieces that i had so i think these are from fancy pants this frame is from simple stories um and there's a tim holtz word sticker on there as well that says focus on what's important and then the other one is again it's a fancy pants paper it's this lovely gold foil and i've just decorated the front again with a frame and some ephemera and yeah so i really like it and i've got two books going at the minute and i've been using i'm going to show you how i have been using them so this first one i don't do project life um purely because it just seems a bit too big for me to keep up with so I have decided that I'm going to do Traveller's Notebook Life. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, I don't know. I'm going to treat a Traveller's Notebook like my project life, if that makes sense. So the photos that I don't want to do a big layout on are going to go in here. So for example, this was actually a page that I got wrong. So I folded it in half, covered it in paper, put some stickers on and it's kind of like a divider page now. <laughs> Um, and then this, every month I'm going to have this, or one, something like this. And this is actually an iPhone background that I change my iPhone lock screen um, every month. I use the um, monthly 
tech pretties i think they're called um from dawn nicole which is um by dawn nicole designs i think and i'll put her link in the description below as well and it is always just a really lovely design with the month and then the dates as well so what i thought i would do is print this off onto sticker paper and that is going to be kind of like my front page so to speak i'm going to pop this down so you can see the colors the lighting isn't fantastic which i do apologize for so yeah that's just normal stick paper that i've just printed off and stuck in and that's like my first page and then for everything else i am going to journal which is a massive thing for me i don't um i don't tend to journal on my layout so i am going to use this as somewhere to write things down and photos i'm not going to bother with photo paper i want it to be quite flat and it's just a place for all the the photos that maybe the ones that I'm not going to do a huge scrapbook layout on. So they're all going to get printed out onto matte sticker paper as well. Um, and I really like my printer. It's a Canon Pixma MG something or other. And it prints really good. And this is just an iPhone photo that I've brightened a little bit and printed off, cut out and stuck down. And it's just, it's fine. And I'm also going to use this as a place to use some of my embellishments and stuff that I haven't used uh, from like kits and stuff which is a great way to use them up so so I'm gonna try and stamp the date somewhere so I've got the date here I've got the date here um, and I have the date oh I don't have the date on that one um, but yes it's gonna be kind of project life ish I haven't done much in it I've done three pages I think each time I do it I think it is going to be a double page um, this one I actually did while I was at a craft fair with my friend I took um, the basics of supplies I took this and I took this and a water brush and that was it I did that with that <laughs> um, these stickers are free printables I just um, Pinterested is that a phrase Pinterested. I searched on Pinterest. I Pinterested. Um, free printable embellishments or something like that. There are so many um, free printable Project Life cards or um, ephemera or anything like that that people just, they're, people are so generous with what they create and I've just printed those on sticker paper again. Um, and yeah, this was just watercolour on a plastic bag, actually. <laughs> oh, I did do the date. I just didn't stamp it. It was the 3rd of September. Okay. Well, I am doing the date. Oh, I'm quite proud of myself. Um, <laughs> so that first book is going to be Project Life-ish. And I was thinking of turning that into a series on my YouTube channel and maybe doing like a TN Tuesday, maybe. Um, I don't know. Um, if that's something that you would like, then let me know, because um, obviously I don't want to be creating videos that you guys aren't interested in or don't want to see. Um, so yeah, feedback would be greatly appreciated. And then my second book that's in here, I do need some elastics to put some more books in, but my second book that is in here is this gold one, and I'm using this for my lettering prompts and where to do my lettering so I mentioned before that this is from Dawn Nicole or Dawn Nicole Designs and she also does a monthly lettering slash doodle challenge which I really enjoy doing because it makes me practice and it pushes me um for doodling especially it definitely pushes me out of my comfort zone because I don't think I can draw um, but basically this is on her Instagram which is at by at Dawn Nicole Designs or at by Dawn Nicole I will have a look and again leave the link below and she releases this every month and then there's a prompt for every day of the month so you doodle the odd days and you letter the even days so I wanted a place to be able to do that so um, that is in here <laughs> basically so that was drop capital f uh hello september um 
sometimes it's phrases that was sometimes it's patterns so the prompt for that one was plaid and you had to sort of do your own be inspired we're going to skip past that one because that one was awful <laughs> it was meant to be fall fashion but i really can't draw people um watercolor life is art hayride i really like how that one turned out actually sunday fun day that was lots of different ways to do an s oh i really like this one this one was um song lyrics that was just the prompt lights will guide you home and ignite your bones and that is coldplay fix you uh that was an argyle pattern i believe we had to do i love you to the moon i really like that one harvest moon somewhere out there i'm not really fussed about that one uh the prompt for this one was just red orange and yellow so i just did a wash of watercolor it's entirely up to you how much time you spend on these so some of them like this is just really quick and that one was really quick some of them like this take a little bit more time it depends what inspires you this one was a letterate challenge and it was dance in the rain but i really wanted to do like um a silhouette type thing so yeah okay so that is my dawn nicole challenge prompt thing and then this bit at the back is a little pocket i made out of some scrapbook paper for the right size and it's basically because i'm going to take this on the go if i have photos or embellishments or whatever that are already printed off um, and just ready to go then i will pop that in there clip that to there and that's ready to go to use wherever i am really so yeah i like that it's a bit chunky this clip also helps to keep its shape a little bit and don't get it squashed and the elastic just goes over i absolutely love this thing i'm really enjoying using it i'm really enjoying the project life style well they're not project life style but the notebook that i'm using for project life i'm really enjoying using that because it's a smaller size so yes if you would like to see videos or more videos on my traveler's notebook then please give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments and i look forward to seeing you soon bye